one, go. As we begin these autonomous fear, just like as usual, these are all pre-programmed instructions that the students have already set before the match begin. They're all trying to maximize points during the bonus round here, where some pieces can score additional value. 50-10 and 17-41 scoring additional points for the team by ending that autonomous period on top of their charge station. This is qualification to match 33. Which is over two minutes remaining in the match. 17-98 throwing power cues, or sorry, cargo all over the field. 50-10 making quick work of their cone by placing one potentially in the top of their scoring area. That grid is where all the pieces have to go by the end of the match for them to count towards their students' score. 39-36 just after successfully placing one cone is already going to grab another from their loading area. That's the protected zone on the audience side of the field where they can interact with their human player via a sliding or dropping mechanism. 7198, that's TL Fearsome Gears on the blue line, successfully placing one of their cubes into the bottom of their grid. Everything scored there is worth two points. Friendly reminder, it doesn't matter what game piece is being scored, but where it's being scored. So again, pieces on the bottom of the grid is worth two, on the middle of the grid is three, and on the top it's five. 50 again, again, trying to place one on top, and they are successful. The scores are currently 59 to 50, a small margin in this type of game. That's only one cone or cube being placed on the top row here, just like 1741 Red Alert is successfully completing right now for their alliance. 1720 Fixed Gears has a unique swerve drive mechanism allowing them to move very nimbly across the field, which is extremely helpful during endgame, which just starts now. <laughs> Teams will want to go ahead and move towards their charge station to get balanced. It's six points if you're just touching the charge station, but 10 points per robot if you can get in a balanced configuration. You can get up to 30 if you have all three of your robots, which both teams may try to do here with only 10 seconds remaining in the match. Red Alliance is attempting it. They do need to balance for those additional points, but unfortunately, it looks like we just ran out of time in this match. Let's see your scores for qualification match 33. And the winner of this match was the Blue Alliance. With a score of 86, beating out Red Alliance 69. Blue Alliance keeping three rating points, allowing 5010 to maintain its third ranking position.